Succinct. Had only Pokey received a claim, you would have continued streaming uh, Mastership because it historically neglected property. Unlike anime and movies, your views on claimable content does not exclude streaming MasterChef, but for receipt of the now dubious claim, you would have continued like streaming MasterChef. Yes, and I might actually continue streaming MasterChef in the future. I just need to figure out where the claim came from and make sure that it doesn't happen ever again. To make sure that Twitch doesn't allow this to happen ever again. New Philly D's about you. you. I hate this because like there's new information on this. There's new information coming out on this. And like, I, I know that like this is going to annoy the fuck out of me because like obviously Philly D's operating on like what, it, what he has seen thus far on the internet. And it's going to, it's just going to be very frustrating to see. You right now. Um, this disturbing Pokemon and Slime Piker situation will get worse. Disturbing. Can I get a hell yeah? Revoshal. Um, wasn't that good? Nothing that has not already been said. Yeah, I don't wanna, I mean, here, we'll watch it, but. On video. Then, is the Twitch apocalypse here? That is a question that a lot of people are asking following this latest controversy. I feel like a lot of people aren't asking that question, but like are excited for it. I'm gonna be honest. People that are, uh, people that are on the outside seemingly are kind of excited for it. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna keep it real. Debate that's happening over Twitch and of all things MasterChef and Avatar The Last Air. Ruined Yeah, because a number of major creators on that platform have just been watching and reacting to TV shows, with one of the most popular being MasterChef. With Gordon Ramsay himself even having a quick back and forth on Twitter with XQC, one of the streamers who's a major part of this meta. And while many saw this reaction and were hopeful that it could open a door for maybe Gordon Ramsay and streamers to collaborate together. And I do think that that's still going to happen for the record. Communicating with Gordon Ramsay on Twitter is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. Developing a relationship with Gordon Ramsay on yes. social media that ends up with like a partnership with Gordon Ramsay is in, in essence the exact same thing as I the, love the XQC photo. In essence, it's the exact same thing as like Peggy coming here, okay, and and hanging out with me and then saying, yeah, of course you can play my music and, and it won't get DMCA'd. So that is precisely why what XQC was doing was actually good. That's why when I wrote under Gordon Ramsay and people were like, you're a idiot like that's a self-report you did that like that is silly that is developing a relationship with a person who like is who has a lot of power over what gets done with that copyright i know gordo doesn't own the master chef but he has so much influence and power over that franchise that he absolutely could make one phone phone call to be like don't prosecute these motherfuckers like don't don't pursue copyright on this in the exact same That's way so that an artist doesn't full-blown own the copyright technically an artist doesn't even own the masters half the time and technically the record label does but the artist will still allow you to listen to their music like 21 savage with a uh, train wreck anyway. with other creators and viewers going okay one how is this even legal and two this new attention is just going to get everything shut down with some creators asking are these like public domain shows or something do larger companies just not care about folks restreaming their stuff to which dj weed who's actually head of the twitch community production saying it's absolutely not okay just like it has never been okay to stream music this is just as dmca able as anything else hard to say why streamers have not been targeted but just like music it's probably just a matter of time adding this is not an official twitch take just my own but also with that you had major streamers chiming in about how people are getting away with this including people who have been streaming master chef like asan piker tweeting everything is fair use if the copyright holder doesn't care about pursuing a DMCA claim. Be smart, don't watch entire movies, Viacom, Disney shit, or new episodes, and stop snitching. With him adding, and he is right here, that technically video games should fall under that, but the companies don't care or actually see benefits of creators stream their games. But then, funny enough, not long after tweeting that, he got a DMCA hit of his own for watching Matt. Which, for the record, I am now under the firm belief, not suspicion, but almost the firm belief is, was a false takedown notice this is why i was saying it sucks that like they're Master covering Chef. it this, this also after one of the largest streamers on the platform pokimane was banned for watching avatar the last airbender on stream though they're taking it in stride saying i'm not surprised and i don't think this is unfair in my opinion it was inevitable that publishers would take action on me or someone else during this react meta but also with that she ended up receiving a fair amount of backlash with that criticism boiling down to the fact that many saw this as an example of a creator doing something that benefits them even though overall it's bad for the community and smaller creators they get a temporary ban for two days they come back to usually bigger views than normal y'all as far as my reaction to this news it's the first one of the year prepare yourselves i just want to say don't be stupid stupid like i'm not hyped and excited about a dmca claim or pokemon or any specific creator getting suspended but as large creators like moist critical have already publicly said it's just common sense that you can't stream a full tv series anime 
I mean, Moist and I are in agreement, and me and uh, Philip DeFranco are in agreement as well. And so, I mean, he also mentioned that, like, I am correct on the uh, video game side of this as well. It's just we all f understand and we all agree that, like, there are certain lines you're not supposed to f cross. And when you cross those lines, you get clapped. Okay? A movie franchise on Twitch. No yes, studio. Moist streamed those shows too. And he came over here, and even in his video, he admitted that. And he came over here, and we had this exact same conversation. So will ever say yeah if you buy our blu-ray you can stream the cult backpedal is amazing yeah uh maybe you should maybe you should uh you know i don't know uh engage in some cult backpedal or maybe engage in a mind trick where One you more. comprehend things a little bit better i mean not only do i have a personal connection to these people i quite literally had them on the stream the day of and we had this exact same conversation where we agreed and not only that but you know what 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 that i i suspect that the dmca takedown was actually not made by the real copyright owner but some random fucking troll mind trick yourself into understanding a little bit better maybe you'll be a little bit smarter and to forty thousand people who have it and it's not just this random it only affects you harmless thing for these big creators to be doing this when there's something like an adpocalypse that we've seen different versions of here on youtube oh streamers are streamers still mad they can't stream movies and episodes no dude no 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 it's just it. like I, i'm sorry look i know that the way that this content works is that like you feel to have a, a larger percentage of the ownership of the content itself than like other places but ultimately we still know more than you in this circumstance and the reason why a lot of people get frustrated about this uh situation is because of the way that uh, the way that copyright works and the way that trolls can sometimes issue false DMCA takedown notices, making it seem as though they are actually from the copyright old holder when they're not actually from the copyright holder. That's it. And that destroys everything I do here because technically every single thing that I look at, including this video right here, Philip DeFranco's video right here is subject to copyright violation. I have repeated this so many times, and yet people still, still, still refuse to comprehend this. It doesn't really affect the big channels because we have the ability to move and figure out solutions. It hurts the little guy. But with that said, that's a story, my personal opinion, and I want to pass the question off to you. What are your thoughts? Okay. It's not, it's 100% not worth relitigating this to shitters who aren't actually interested in understanding how copyright fair use works and they just want to bait. Yeah. Yeah. And don't stream a TV series forehead. I mean, you could say that to the small copyright content creators as well, right? Like, hey, you don't stream TV shows and you don't get clapped. Except the reason why everyone is upset about this is because this creates a system or this, uh, this will create a structure where it doesn't matter because copyright, if enforced to the full degree, okay, to its maximum authority, would destroy every platform, not just Twitch, every single one. Hassle, hassle, yeah, hassle. I could, I could get copyright copyrighted for every article i look at for all the pictures that the articles use or pictures that philip defranco used in this article i could get copyright striked for literally watching this even if he gave me the permission to restream right. this okay the picture that he used there the stock footage that he used there which he probably didn't pay for as well because that's that would be ridiculous if we were doing that for every little thing on the internet i could get copy strike for that that's how powerful copyright law is if utilized to its maximum uh, if utilized to its uh, regular authority, afforded to it. Thoughts here, but from people do comprehend. They're just trying to destroy your format. I know it's just like I don't know. I I I go back and forth because here's what here's what it is. I go back and forth because I think like for every ten trolls in here, there's probably a hundred people who are just you know tuning in for the first time that are like maybe that guy's bringing up a good point. That's why I constantly relitigate this, and that's why I constantly repeat it. Because I care about the hundred people that just joined that are going to learn uh, something new. You know what I mean? Are stock pictures really a fair comparison to lo uh, hour-long uh, streams of MasterChef? Come on, dude. Yes, it is. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. You and I understand that there are arbitrary boundaries. But if I was to operate in the same way that you are suggesting, that like everything that you look at technically is copyright or you say something like get better content or whatever because like all your content is restreaming other people then yes in a world where we operate that way it is exactly the same
Actually, stock photos are way more litigious than half the YouTube uh, videos that we watch. And the only reason why we're able to play video games on this platform, not that I play video games on this platform, let's be real. The only reason why we're able to do so is because video game developers recognize that Twitch streamers playing their video games is good. Okay, and they allow it. Fair use and copyright are a different hobby. It doesn't matter. Fair use is a defense against copyrighted content being utilized on your stream. Fair use defense is actually completely fucking vague. Okay? There are no preset limitations and boundaries on what constitutes fair use. There's only a couple precedents that we can look to, one of which is Ethan Klein's famous case. So my biggest like problem with that uh, Twitter post that I posted was utilization of the term fair use. When what I simply was, uh, when I, what I actually meant was like, everything is copyright free if the copyright holder doesn't actually intend to pursue you. Okay. Everything. Fair use is just a defense. Exactly. It's not a license. And not only that, not only that, but the other part of it where I say stop snitching, I should have just said stop concern trolling because that's what that was. But you got to agree that you toast and poke are bringing light to the owners. No. Putting me in that same category as people who are watching Viacom properties or anime is stupid. I watch something that literally the same people that you got this information from, including Charlie, watched. And I was the only person who got copyright struck, uh, struck down for it because it was a fake troll DMCA takedown notice made by someone who hates me and wanted to put a fake email on there or an email of a fox news broadcaster's email to issue a, take DM, uh, a false DMCA takedown notice. So no, it's not the same. It's not even the correct copyright owner. No, it's not a legit notice. I don't know, dude, why? Fox is in Viacom, so okay. Oh, this dude is like actually brain broken, dude. I've gotten a legitimate DMCA notice in the past. DMCAs are incredibly easy to file. It's just a form. All you need to do is put information in there. If the information looks adequate, then the, the Twitch system, which of course uh, is going to, you know, take all the DMCA notices seriously because they don't want legal scrutiny and they don't want the entire platform to get sued, will then decide this is a legitimate notice. All it takes is for someone to use the appropriate email name convention. That's it. Is this the guy who sent this to you or something? And no, there is a difference between Viacom and a company that hasn't pursued via takedown millions of their what content on YouTube, YouTube, okay? You literally waited until everyone else got away with watching MasterChef and you were at somehow at fault. Motherfuckers really pick a bone with you for nothing. Yeah, motherfuckers who are in here for 14 months. Fox itself is not even the legal copyright holder, except it was a Fox News media uh, a corporate PR executive vice president that issued a takedown. I'm sorry that you're a f but... You know, that's not how this works. I know, I know this is his, uh, uh, you know. Uh, <sighs> you should do a whole stream on art copyright for use in intellectual IP laws. I swear I hate chat. I did that already for the past two days. Chatters don't give a shit. No, people are tired of big streamers making hundreds of thousands from watching TV. Yeah, I know you say that because you are of the same f***ing attitude. This guy is such a clown. Now what pisses me off is the fact that streamers are making hundreds of thousands of watching TV. My friend, I hate to break it to you. Because you've been in here for five months and maybe this will maybe finally open this, uh, you know, world, uh, open your brain up to the reality here. Streamers can make money no matter what they do. I don't need to watch MasterChef. I do it because it's good content, because the community likes it and we react together and it's fun. Okay? This is not an argument. You are just basically saying, I am jealous. That is not an adequate response. It is an understandable response but it's not necessarily one that is actually moral or even remotely intelligent. You are just basically saying, I have envy. That's silly. That's a silly take. If you're tired of it, you could not watch, but you want to watch. Currently, the 39,000 people, I am making money by dunking on you. It doesn't matter. I mean, I hate to break it to you. This is, a, this is an uncomfortable thing to say. This is an uncomfortable thing to say. It, it just sucks. It sucks to hear, I know. But it is the unfortunate reality, okay? Anyway. Bro, people literally do memes. Like, they will...
they will not even be there and and 4,000 to 8,000 people will watch them or they're just like they'll watch a chair okay that's just it's just how it works nine months subscriber here can confirm dunk achieved will continue subscribing um it's understandable to feel envy in a situation like this for the record uh i i get it i get why people feel envy in a situation like this you know what i mean because we are profoundly fucking privileged but like directing it towards the streamer that you like and you watch is kind of weird you know especially because like you as a consumer benefit Succinct, had only Pokey received a claim, you would have continued streaming uh, MasterChef because it historically neglected property. Unlike anime and movies, your views on claimable content does not exclude streaming MasterChef, but for receipt of the now dubious claim, you would have continued like streaming this. MasterChef. Yes, and I might actually continue streaming MasterChef in the future. I just need to figure out where the claim came from and make sure that it doesn't happen ever again. To make sure that Twitch doesn't allow this to happen ever again. Keegan GX four uh, R, thank you for the ten gifted subs. Okay, no Cowboy Bebop is not safe to watch. Shroud literally left the stream on his tournament and went to sleep. Nobody complained about it. They just memed. Yes, because people are gamers and they like Shroud. I am a political Andy and a react Andy and one that is like, you know, not political in the way that people like. So of course, when I do things, people that normally would not. A, would not even remotely care like xqc streams hunter hunter he watched eight seasons of master chef and he streams hunter hunter to a hundred thousand people every night right now not a single peep from mother but they come in here and they're like dude i can't believe you're still defending like stealing people's content the reason why you say that is because you just hate me and you like xqc which is understandable xqc is a lovable person okay he's a gamer he has the same kind of pepega as you are i get it brain rot setting in Anyway, let's move on. There is a whole lot of projecting and hating around this. Funny how many enemies you make by saying we should care for the poor and help them. Yes, because because people don't like the messenger. People always have historically shot the messenger, okay? And the message in this circumstance is one that actually... The message in this circumstance is one that's like really painful to recognize. That you've been f***ed over by the system your entire life. Like, that sucks. Nobody wants to hear that. It's so much better to just like sedate yourself, okay? It's so much better to sedate yourself and not recognize that and just continue living your life and then lashing out in the most aggressive manner to someone who tells you like, uh, it's actually kind of not that way, okay? Tom Scott has a good video on the topic. We already watched it. Thank you though. That is a good video. You're right. Still does. You will seek fuel for delusion, not the truth. Okay. People said this video sucked, so we're just going to skip it. If you need one, I can get you a referral for an IP attorney. You can talk about the copyright claim against your channel. Regardless, it's unlikely that Twitch will take steps to avoid other false claims since that goes directly against their own interest in avoiding liability. That's not true. Because Twitch has two competing interests in that situation. One, they want to avoid liability and legal scrutiny from big corporations. So they will usually be, you know, very... They, hey, what's up, Philip DeFranco? Thank you, DeFranco Games, for the 10 gifted subs. Um, so, Twitch... By the way, I don't know if you're in here, uh, Philly D, but uh, I'm fairly certain that uh, the copyright takedown I got from MasterChef was unique and no one else got it, even though there were people with larger audiences that were watching it for months and months on end. And uh, also that it was most likely a troll DMCA uh, making themselves seem like it was a content holder uh, making this copy strike. That also kind of matches with the real copy strikes that I've gotten in the past from Two corporations. Till brain rot. Anyway, Nightmare Mask, thank you for the 20 gifted subs. So, um, wait, what was I talking about before that? Fuck. Go Brogan's latest brain rot. Are videos from Gordon Ramsay's YouTube channel owned or are they owned by Fox 2? I'm not entirely certain. I want to kind of stay away from what the fuck. I mean, technically, no, no, no. These are all Gordon Ramsay's own personal videos. So I, I think these are totally fine. But um, what I was going to say is Oh, we've actually watched some no, of this shit. No, the most ridiculous moments. To see some he's stunned by farm caviar. Gordon Furious, he served raw lamb. Catching and cooking a king crab. He demonstrates key cooking skills. Gordon Ramsay being served the worst steaks on Kitchen Nightmares. Okay, we could watch this. Most likely. Okay, we'll watch this one. This is a classic. Okay. Wow. Dude, Hotel Hell and Kitchen Nightmares are so good. We can watch the sad grilled cheese video too. You were talking about Twitch having conflicting issues. Oh, here. Yes. Thank you, Space Time Dave. So Twitch has 
a, a conflicting interest, right? On the one hand, they want to generate revenue. I am a revenue generator for Twitch. Twitch makes more money off of me streaming than I do off of the subscriptions that you guys are giving me or the ads that you're seeing and the, the revenue I generate for myself off of doing those things. So for that reason, that's one competing interest that Twitch has is to obviously protect uh, one of their top content creators. Visit the that does not mean that there is like a double standard in this circumstance. They want to protect from the category. completely ridiculous instances where uh, a, a person is being um, attacked or a, a person is getting like false DMCA strikes, for example. So we're going to watch this. We're going to watch this in a second. We're going to watch this in a second. Baby okay. So, so basically for that reason, if they were to just like fucking take and allow uh, random false DMCA takedowns to, to go all out over the platform. It's like swatting, right? It's basically like swatting. Let's go. Police hate swatting. Obviously, uh, they like going on SWAT calls, right? They like, you know, doing these high action SWAT shit, but they actually hate false SWAT calls. Why? Because that's exhausting resources. Okay. It's you're, you're misreusing you, revenue. Okay. And basically, false DMCA notices are kind of like that in the sense that, like, if a lot of that keeps happening to Twitch, then it's in Twitch's interest to figure out a way to make sure that it doesn't happen so frequently, because then some of their top content creators that are generating revenue for Twitch is, uh, are not going to be able to continue doing that. Hold on. I'll be back in a second. Where are the crab cakes? Ah, uh, screw this. I'm gonna go watch you on YouTube. I'm gonna go watch you on YouTube. I'm gonna go watch you on YouTube. Hey, if you like this video, please subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. <laughs>